don't make it obvious. the most interesting conversation so on taxes I've heard. if you don't know the concept of recirculation of money, then go look it up. And so the way that it works is that when the middle class, when the middle class has more money, disposable income, they spend it. Why? Because they're not living in the lap of luxury. They're not saving it for their yacht. So they need to buy food for their family. They need education for their family. So they spend it and it goes back into the economy. If you just give it in supply side economics to the rich and hope that it trickles down on us eventually decades later, what they wind up doing it with it is something that is logical. They save it. But that means it does not recirculate in the economy. And that is why when you have lower taxes, ironically, the economy does worse. But of course it's a balancing act. Okay, so uh, th now you're making a strong case for Keynesian economics, which is totally fine, obviously. Uh, the, the problem with Keynesian economics is that it doesn't even work in theory because, again, once you go to the logical extreme, which is remove all of the money from the rich people who are saving all their money and give it to all the poor people to buy hamburgers, that doesn't help the economy or spur the economy. What spurs the economy is a higher level... Right. What spurs the economy is the creation of new products and services, and that is only going to be done by people who have exp expendable capital to actually invest in the new products and services that we all enjoy. This is what creates economic growth. Sa it's also worth noting that this, this myth that spending is inherently better for an economy than saving, that's only true if you're talking about somebody who's actually taking the cash and just shoving it into their mattress. Banks are in the business of lending. When they take the money in, they don't just stick it in Al Gore's fake lockbox. They actually lend the money back out to people to actually create new businesses and new products. You had an investor, right? When you started TYT, you were given $4 million by Buddy Romer to start TYT. That's great. That's the way business should work, right? But that money had, it didn't come from a bunch of poor people buying hamburgers. It came from a very, very wealthy guy who gave you money to create a business a lot of people want to patronize. If you want better products and better services, you need more investment in the products and services. The basic name, trickle-down economics, The basic name trickle-down economics is not something that any conservative even proposed. It's a leftist revision of what economics actually is because you're not giving me the money. It was my money in the first place, created through voluntary transactions that I had with others. I've not stolen money from, either, from anyone, neither have you. And the idea that money has to be forcibly taken from you and handed to somebody at the bottom end of the economic spectrum to somehow jog the economy, that may jog McDonald's, but is not going to jog all of the creation of the products and services that make all of our lives much better today than they were 30 years ago in terms of the stuff we have access to.